Kelsey Check Plum, the Alicia Clark, and head coach Becky Hammond speak after the Las Vegas Aces lost to the New York Liberty. You know, I have a, I've had a lot of questions today about last year's. Mm -hmm. And, like, to be honest, like, we're so past that, you know. Um, you know, they have a great environment at home. And, uh, you know, they've been the best team in the league all year, extremely consistent. Um, no one is, you know, like super – I don't know about you. I don't want to speak for everyone, but, I mean, I guess I am when I say our team is like we're moved on from last year. You know, it's a different year, different team. Everything brings new. Um, they're a better team. And so, um, yeah, like we're not, you know, living in the past glory days. Doug? For both of you, I mean, I'm – Made about more victories, but to be able to come back from 20 down in the last quarter, take the lead. I got to think that's a positive knowing who you're missing that a lot of good things come out of today's game despite the loss. We're professional athletes. There's no moral victories here, personally. <laughs> I mean, we had multiple opportunities to win it. I mean, I'm really frustrated myself. Had two great looks, didn't make them. Jack got, got you know, assaulted. <laughs> Nothing tip assaulted, nothing, you know, foul count was like, I don't know, 19 to five or something like that. Like I, I don't have the box score here, um, but it was pretty dramatic, but that's what, that's what happens when you're on the road. What was it? I feel like you're shaking your head. I feel like you know what it is. 13 to 23. 13 to 23. Okay. It's really hard to beat New York when the foul counts 13 to 23. Um, so I, I mean, I just think that, um, you know, <clears throat> more victory. I don't care. Respectfully, Dougie. <laughs> Anything else in the room? Pepper? Yeah, I'll go. Um, for Kelsey, I've loved watching you play for a really long time. One of the things I love most is the way you're able to get downhill. How important is that to your game and also to opening up the floor for the East Mall fans? Pepper, what I love about you is that you are in New York, but you don't feel biased. So <laughs> I appreciate that a lot about you. I got some like Dylan. <laughs> yeah, not Doug. Doug's the worst. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, definitely something that I've tried to, you know, evolve in my game. I know for me, like being known as a shooter coming into the league, um, you know, teams are really good. They scout, they take that away. So you've got to be able to get into the paint, get downhill, and then you're able to create more separation when you are open on three. So that's something that, you know, I've tried to really take pride in and um, continue to try to get better and refine it. So, um, yeah, still got a lot of work to do. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, you know, with a game like this, you know, despite the tough loss, you know, heading into the playoffs, so up, you know, up, down by twenty, up by one, essentially a game like this, you know, is this a teaching moment or is this a valuable moment? You know, heading into the playoffs for you guys, or, uh, uh, you know, a learning lesson. Um, I mean, no lead is safe in this league. Um, I think if anything that you know, that's just how this league is too good. Um, and the moment you think that is the moment where trouble sets in. So for us, whether we're up 20, down 20, um, our goal is to make sure we're continuing to keep our foot on the gas and continuing to play basketball, play, you know, aces basketball the right way. Um, and I think that's just, you know, today was an example of that. Anybody from the Zooms? I don't see hands raised. Go ahead and raise them if you've got anything. Well, this might be the shortest. Coming down that's in three. Two, one. Thank you, ladies. Uh, wait a minute, AC. Can you just talk about Sid, please? Just you know, oh, give her some. Oh, absolutely. Um, Sydney's a difference maker. You know, she's somebody that she's a high IQ player. She's a defensive minded player. Um, and any time that she gets in, she changes the course of the game, the energy of the game. And she's you know one of our better on ball defenders, if not the best. Um, you know, she rarely gets screened. She's not afraid to pressure. Um, and she's always ready for the moment. You know, we we joked when she missed the layup, but then you see just the type of professional she is. She came back and hit a big three. Um, and those are moments that we need. And, you know, it's the same thing. I know we said we're over last year, but it's just it's she proves it again and again. She steps in in the biggest moment of our season last year and does the exact same thing. And so to have a professional like her on our team, I love I love getting to be out there and play with her. I love the energy that she brings. And even when she's not playing, like she pours into everyone else. And then when it's her moment, you know what I'm saying? Like it comes back to you. So to be able to have a teammate like that, um, it's everything. And I, I I can't say enough about her, but I love having her on my team. I know that. Thanks a lot, ladies. Free throws for the game. 
They had 10 at half. It's 38 to 60 in our series with fouls called. Um, Tiffany Hayes got hit across the head. Swipe down. Jackie Young got stood up like a football block. Completely stopped all her momentum. Should be shooting. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, to answer your question, we went one-on-one -on -one a few times um, during the bulk of the game that I didn't like. But when it came down the stretch and we were uh, – putting ourselves in a position to win. Um, Tip Hayes gets to the rack, no call. Jackie gets bumped before she even gets to the rack, no call, and then got fouled again. Um, so, no, I'm not thrilled. Becky, you guys are down 20 late in the third. I think you dumped the bench for a bit and they got you back in it. Just talk about the play of the bench and what they did to give you a chance to get there at the end. Well, they got stops. I mean, when you're down 20, you better get some stops. Um, they had a lot of, you know, they just started moving the ball. And we know when we move the ball, um, good things happen for us. But we have too much Jekyll and Hyde. We move the ball great in the first quarter and then go completely away from it in the second quarter. Um I don't know how you go from 24 points in a quarter to eight or nine like we did last time we played them. Um, the ball stops moving, and it can't. Um, so that being said, our bench coming in, the ball moved, and good things happened. Um, they got stops. I mean, they gave us really a chance to, to crawl back in there and uh, stick our nose in where probably people didn't think it was going to be today. Just to build on that a little bit, uh, to speak on the resiliency of the team, you know, Sydney Colson comes in, she misses a big layup, however, comes down, hits a big three. And just the overall resiliency of the team down by 20, up by one, you know, just a roller coaster of the game. Um, you know, can you speak to resiliency of the team? I mean, we got a resilient group, we know how to take a hit. Um, you know, I was proud of the way they battled. Um, you know, you, you you have opportunities throughout the game to kind of fall apart, and they didn't. Um, so I give my team a lot of credit with their fight, sticking together when it got hard, when it got ugly. Uh, I mean, a couple of possessions, we looked like the Bad News Bears were kicking it all over the court. Um, and then still found ourselves in a position to win the game. So... Uh, Pretty pleased overall with the effort. Um, and there's, you know, we chucked some layups too. I mean, every game we've played them, uh, you know, we've missed a couple point blank layups. Like you can't do that against this team because not only is it just a momentum killer, um, but now you're in transition defense on a bucket that you should have had. And typically if you're missing a layup, it means somebody's out of the play and not able to get <laughs> to get back. Um, so uh, we got we got to help ourselves in some of these situations. Um Obviously, we missed Asia's rim protection a lot today. Um, but even even that I was going back to what I was saying is on the free throw line block out, I told Mrs. Suffering that I wanted a timeout when we had possession. So as soon as Tip got possession, even though the ball was batted around, that's why you tell a ref. I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea what I did. Carry on. <laughs> um, that's why you tell a ref. Is so if something, ha of course I can call a timeout if she makes it and we have to take it out or the balls bounces, bounces out of bounds. Those are easy ones. I'm telling you in advance so that if we have a ball that we get possession of and it's live, I want a timeout immediately. And so they wouldn't, that's what I was arguing with them about. That's exactly why I went up and told her during the free throw, I want a timeout as soon as we have possession. Didn't happen. Anything else in the room, Ben? Yeah. Um, you know, Asia, it seemed like throughout the whole game, she was talking to the reserves. She would talk to the team, you know, on the bench before timeouts. And you walked over, just what was it like having her um, on the bench the whole game? Did you notice anything, see anything, work with players that was anything different? That is not what I'm watching. <laughs> I got my head fully immersed in what's happening on that 94 feet. Um, I mean, that's who she is, though. That's I'm not surprised she's in people's ears and encouraging people. I mean, she was fully locked into that game um, just because she wasn't out there playing. You know, she still knows and understands basketball and understands what we want. 
And so, um, yeah, not not surprised. Thanks. I wasn't paying attention that closely, though. <laughs> and, and just did it remind you the rhythms of this game remind you at all of Game Four last year? I know you know different groups, different teams. We talk about the improvement, but did you feel energy in the building similar? Or oh yeah, I mean, I think everybody knows these two teams are not particularly fond of each other. <laughs> um, I know we got a lot of respect for them. I know they have a lot of respect for us. Um, we're battling for the same thing. Um, have a lot of respect for their coaching staff. So um, we always come prepared for a war. Um, 10 free throws in a game like that, where there's physical and there's stuff on the line, um, that's two free throws a quarter, basically. That's 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 not that's not right. And so uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.